oh my god, Donnie Yen's interested in being in a John Wick film. My version was more like Zantuichi, you blind, stumbling masseuse guy, that kind of guy. You know, and after my first creative talk with Donnie, it was like, oh, I gotta, I don't want to play him like that, I want to be way cooler. When I'm back home, when I'm with the, my most comfortable environment with my colleagues, Asian filmmakers, right? They don't understand me as much as Chad does. And that's a compliment to him. And I told him that. He's like, I said, you know, it's very interesting that you understand where I'm coming from. And I understand where he's coming from. He wanted to be inspiring. He wanted to be positive. He didn't want to be the stereotypical blind swordsman as it's been played in the past. Actually, I was kind of against that in the beginning. And he said, oh, he's blind. That was before I went to Berlin, right? I said, I've done that in Rogue One, in Star Wars, right? I, I played the blind man before, you know? Do you, you really want to go there? How am I going to react, right? There? How am I going to bring what I wanted to achieve, that full, complex character? It's challenging. Well, I'm still finding some and Donnie came at it very hard, like, look, man, for myself, I gotta do something different. I, you know, I wanna add, like, I wanna go to the extremes in this. Like, like, I can play it like this tripping blind guy, or I can just be assumed that I'm so good that I have to do that. I'm like, okay, let's start with that. Let's start with, we're not gonna do the traditional blind guys. We're not gonna do the tappy tappy, all this stuff. Yeah. Then you're like, hmm. Do a little, you can do your hearing thing. And then it's like, should have stayed out, try to find should've it. Stayed out. This is John Wick. We need to create John Wick work, and he has to be are very skilled martial artist assassins. He sent me some pictures. What do you think? What, what, how does he picture this cane? And I told him, well, I see him stylish. Steve McQueen, Bruce Lee. And I said, have you remember Bruce Lee during the black and white interview with the skinny tie and the black suit and everything? This should be a little Bruce Lee ish here, a little bent to the dragon. Osaka interior, that was built in, you know, like an old subway station. Welcome to the Osaka Continental. How can I help? I really try to mix this traditional samurai kind of way of life in their aesthetics and their and the artwork that dates back to the 1600s. I use that as a base, as a foundation. And what can we do to make it modern day contemporary? So, for example, the exhibit room. I framed all these old, beautiful rice paper paintings and framed them in glass and put modern frames around them and put them all over the place, as a modern art gallery or art, modern art space would be. That transition from the interior of the hotel to the exterior streets of Osaka, we figured it'd be great to have them go through a traditional bamboo Zen garden. We took over about four or five acres of property and we created our own bamboo that was shipped in from all over Europe. We have over 500 sticks of bamboo with waterfalls and a rock garden and cherry trees. We kind of were able to create our own little backyard to the hotel. It was a fun thing to do. I think this is a good John Wick world. I'm enjoying my hotel, Osaka Continental, very much.